It's your boy Caveman back again with another sneaker review. It's only right that I did a review on these Jordan Shadow ones because if you watched the previous video, you already know what went down. How much do you want on your shadow? So I landed back home with some shadows. Jordan Shadow 1. Not gonna lie, these are growing on me. They might be growing on me because I bought so many pairs or just because I like Shadow 1s in general. But either way, these are growing on me. So let's give y'all a little bit of a comparison as far as what Shadow 1 and Shadow 2s look like. We got a couple of spots on here that are supposed to be black that are gray and then a couple spots on here vice versa. There are a couple similarities. As you can see, the check on both are gray. The Nike Jordan symbol right here and right here, those are both black as well. So there are small similarities other parts are opposites as you can tell I have fried these joints right here these things are cooked up done up look at this wow kind of debating if I want to keep a pair of these for the toe or not I don't know I just like these a little too much to kind of switch off the whole shoe has a kind of weird suede material it's suede while on the OG pairs it's not really suede at all it's really all leather the check is suede the side panels the toe box is actually leather there's no suede in the toe box but the toe box feels like a like a weird leather it, it feels like a leather that's gonna crease I'm not gonna hold you it doesn't feel like the normal tumble leather we get in like the normal Jordan ones it definitely has that weird vibe to it even the side panel right here feels like it's gonna crease a little bit if you wear these the sole of the shoe just normal black nothing too crazy I do like how the black white and gray right here contrast well in like one palette it definitely looks kind of nice I'm not gonna hold you you could style these with a lot of really nice outfits you could wear a lot of light colors with this in comparison to the old shadows since it was majority black you couldn't really get off too many light colors but even like with this hoodie I have on you could probably get off a fire fit with these colors right here and you wouldn't even expect it versus like trying to get a fit off with this it clashes a little more than it would with this you know what I mean these also come with gray laces which is pretty fire because you could definitely switch up your outfits a little bit with the gray bobs the insole is pretty regular just black and gray nothing crazy it has the Nike air on the bottom there so depending on what size you have right now these are going for anywhere between 220 to 240 dollars I would personally suggest buying a couple pairs of these because as you saw at the sneaker con vibe That's all I did holding these gonna sell them for 350 definitely gonna be able to make a little bag on these because these are for sure Gonna go up, but yo, that's another sneaker review brought to you by the K man himself Don't forget to smash that like button comment below Let me know how you're feeling about these do you like the OG vibes more or do you like these more? Let me know how you feel in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna put the subscription button right here and make sure you follow me on all social media platforms to stay up to date on more exclusive content. Peace, y'all.